Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to do an Android backup for your Android smartphones using a custom recovery. I will be using the touch version of the Clockwork Mod recovery to do mine, but there are several other custom recoveries out there. There is the Clockwork Mod non-touch version and something called TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project, which you can use as well they are all basically the same thing now before I proceed just remember that to use an Android backup whatever Android phone you have must be rooted so make sure to find the specific instructions to root your particular smartphone before you attempt to make an Android backup now as you know or as I think you know an Android backup backs up your entire phone including all your music pictures apps app data contacts phone history text messages emails etc so it is a complete backup tool which is why it is amazing and it's very easy to restore from this backup now I have a rooted HTC one which I will be using in this video so the first step is to power off your device and boot into the custom recovery. Now different devices have different ways to enter custom recoveries. The first step is to usually enter the boot loader mode. In my phone you have to press power and volume down at the same time to enter the boot loader mode. Okay, there it is. From there you have to select recovery using volume down and then press power to enter the custom recovery okay so that is my custom recovery right there what you want to do from here is you want to go to backup and restore from this list mine is touch screen so I can just touch it and go right inside so let me do that that's the backup and restore tap it and then on the top it says backup which is selected in that light blue color so the next step is to tap that backup and the backup process actually starts so I'm not gonna have you watch the whole backup process I'm gonna fast forward to the end and show you what it says and the backup is come to completion so it says at the bottom backup complete now your phone is completely backed up so once your backup is complete you can exit the recovery and start using your phone as usual I'm not gonna do that right now I'm just going to assume that you went back out and there was a problem with your phone and you now have to restore your phone to a previously created backup. Okay, so what you have to do now is um, come back into the recovery mode the same way I did in the beginning of the video. For your specific Android phone, it's going to be different but you're gonna end up in this screen as always this is the main screen for all recoveries now when you're restoring your phone you always have to do a wipe data slash recovery reset so there's a button just for that which you're gonna press this is gonna wipe the phone clean okay so you don't do this for no reason you better have a good reason for doing this the next thing you have to do is clear the cache partition so you do th these two things then you go back into backup and restore and then you tap restore and here is a list of all the data that I have backed on this phone so far so you pick the one that you know is your current backup which is the bottom in the list in mine which I'm gonna oh, go back a bottom of the list just tap it and then you confirm it yes restore and this starts the restoration process for your phone so that your phone can be just like it was when it was fully functional now obviously doing all these backups on your phone is going to take up space so what you have to do is every now and then you have to connect your phone to your computer via the USB cable and you have to transfer these backups from the uh, from the phone's internal memory to the memory of the your computer just so you can save some space okay my usual backups are two or three gigabytes and that's only because I don't have much of music or pictures if you have more music and pictures sometimes you cannot even do a backup so just be aware of the fact that backups take a lot of space 
by the way the restoration was complete so I just clicked the reboot button so the phone is now going back into its usual uh, business so it's loading up as usual anyway thank you for watching this video if you have any questions concerns comments put them down in the comments section subscribe to my channel for more videos to come give me a thumbs up if you liked this video I, I truly appreciate that and uh, once again thank you for watching and have a good day